Hello everyone, welcome to In Other Words, where scientific papers become more accessible. The idea behind this video is to explain some of the concepts from a scientific publication in simple words. Today's paper is called A Reversible Wet-Dry Agation Inspired by Muscles and Geckos. Now there are three keywords here. There is adhesive, there is inspired by, and there is muscles and geckos. An adhesive should have three main properties. It should be able to stick, it should be detachable, and it should be reusable. So we want to use an adhesive several times. Moving on to inspired by. Now in today's paper, the concepts that are explained are inspired from nature. And this idea or this field of study where the nature's design or nature's chemistry is replicated artificially in the lab is called biomimetics. So that's the inspired by part of the, of the title. That brings me to the third keyword, which is muscles and geckos. Now muscles, other than being famous as food, possess this amazing property that they can adhere or stick to surfaces under water, so under wet conditions, which is kind of freaky because usually tapes don't stick under water. So it's, it's cool, it's pretty cool. But how does that work? How, does, how do the muscles stick to surfaces under water? I'll tell you how. So muscles secrete this magic liquid, which has a certain combination of chemicals that allows them to stick to the surfaces. Moving on to the second nature part, which is the geckos. Geckos belong to the family of lizards, but geckos are not just another lizard. They have an amazing superpower, which allows them to climb on surfaces against the gravity. But they can walk on the ceiling or they can walk on really slippery surfaces. Have you ever experienced that you entered a room with super smooth surface and your shoes are also smooth so there is no friction between your shoes and the floor and that's why the floor is slippery. Well, that doesn't stop the geckos. Geckos can walk there where humans can't walk. That's pretty cool, right? But how does this work? Some of the scientists on the face of this earth got interested and they asked the same question. How can the geckos walk on the ceiling or on very, very smooth surfaces? They grabbed a gecko and what they found out was that the gecko's foot consists of a lot of like millions. When I say a lot, there are millions of very, very tiny hair sticking out. So every time a gecko wants to have a contact, like a stick to a surface, all these hairs will align and be perpendicular to the surface and there would be the maximum contact and that's why the gecko is sticking to the surface and when it wants to detach from the surface, what the gecko does is that it loses the contact by tilting or moving these hair all at the same time. So it's able to stick and it's able to detach. And of course, it's able to do it over and over and over again. So the gecko food qualifies the three main properties that an adhesive should have. Sticking, detachment and reusable. Now coming to the paper at hand today, what they did was they combined this dry adhesion from the geckos and the wet adhesion from the muscles to make a wet and dry reversible adhesive system. So they took this structure from the geckos and the chemistry from the muscles and created this cool adhesive system. The material which was used was a certain kind of a polymer, it's called PEMS. Now a polymer is, well, to give you an everyday example is your plastic bag, that's a polymer. But they use a different kind of a polymer called PDMS, which is sticky, flexible, and easy to handle. Well, relatively easy to handle. What was done was there were really, really small so nano pillars made out of this PDMS polymer by sophisticated methods, where the height of these pillars were 600 nanometers. One nanometer is 10 to the power minus nine meters. That's really, really, really small. And they made an array of these nano pillars with with these nano pillars, now we have the gecko foot, so the dry adhesive system, and then they coated it with, with a chemical that resembled this magic liquid from the muscles. And voila, you have your wet and dry adhesive system. System is ready, now comes the testing pad. So this group reports that they tested this wet and dry adhesive system 
more than 1000 times so it was sticky it was detachable and it was reusable so 1000 cycles is quite a lot of time now this paper also contains other details like the chemistry of the magic liquid of the muscles, the, the nanofabrication of these gecko feet inspired nanopillars. In the results part there is the force displacement curve, there is a force and a number of pillars curve, then there is a curve between the force and the number of cycles. Uh, and in different conditions, so the wet condition, dry condition, so the adhesion tested under water, adhesion tested under air, with combinations, without the combinations, so yeah, that, I, I think the paper is pretty cool. I hope you understood what I was trying to explain in other words. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you have any scientific terms or techniques or any scientific papers that you would like me to explain in other words, please let me know. Also, like, share and subscribe to get your dose of science today. Thank you for watching.